Not sure on how to get an Amazon FBA business to over six figures in under one year, but at the end of this video, I'll have shared with you my top strategies that got me to six figures and beyond, so be sure they stay tuned. Now for the best Amazon FBA advice, tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to this channel as I drop brand new videos every single week. Now, one of our top students, Zach Brown here, was able to scale his brand new Amazon FBA business to over $100,000 per month in under nine months of working with our team. So if you'd like to get involved or learn about how you can get involved, be sure to stay tuned until the end of this video for a very special announcement. Now, as you may probably know already that it really all starts with a great product. You know, it's like, have you heard the saying, you know, build it and they'll come? Well, I mean, that's kind of, you know, true to a certain extent because if you have a great product, cool, but if you don't know how to get it out there, it just won't sell, but it starts with a great product, right? So yes, if you build it and market it, they will come for sure, right? So, you know, selecting a great product is not the easiest task. However, once you have a duplicatable system, it's definitely, you know, becomes a lot easier. Now, in order for you to get to six figures, you do have to have a duplicatable system that can find you multiple products because trust me, you're not gonna get there with one product. At least I did it, right? Now, yes, there are some products that go on and making tens of thousands of dollars, but really, what are the chances of you getting, you know, finding that? And unless you have your own brand, your own company, maybe you're already successful outside of Amazon, you know, the chances are that probably isn't going to be ca the case for you and you probably are going to end up being like me where you do have to have multiple products in order for you to get to the six figure mark. Now, depending on, you know, your launch budget, depending on exactly how much it is you're starting with and what it is you're trying to accomplish out of this, you know, some people like to just have any products, doesn't matter as long as they're making money. Some people like to build businesses and brands around their products. Some people like to simply stick to a specific category and specific niche, like maybe you are passionate about something and you want to bring your passion to the business, which there is nothing wrong with it. You shouldn't be focused on that only, but you should definitely bring your passion about it because if you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're just not going to last very long simply because you're gonna face a lot of problems. And if you're not enjoying it, you're probably not gonna stick around to really figure out the problems and go further. So depending on what strategy you're using or what product research criteria you're also utilizing, you know, which you should definitely have one, um, you know, that's going to dictate the kind of products that you're gonna be launching. Now, if you want to know more about my personal product research criteria, or most importantly, my personal product research method that helps me, you know, find products on autopilot and, and the fact that I was able to scale to six figures within a short amount of time, I'm gonna, you know, uh, link my video here somewhere uh, where you can actually watch that method. So the first thing really is the product research. Now, the second thing that comes after that is really getting your product out there, you know, having people understand what the product is once again, if you build it, sure, they will come, but you have to promote it for them to come, right? Which takes us to the second thing. And before I get there, I just wanted to announce last week's winner, which is Antonella Mendoza. Congratulations. Now, if you want to be, um, you know, the winner for next week's or this week's uh, giveaway for my step-by-step -step guide on how to launch successful business on Amazon, simply drop in the comment section, BJKU. Now, when it comes to launching a product, you know, it's about multiple things. It's about number one, how you're going to get that business or that product out there, number one. Number two, how are you gonna scale it? Because it's easy, well, not easy, but it's, it's easier, right, to scale, to launch your product and then scale it for one keyword but then to really maximize, you know, because you could be earning two, three, four, five thousand dollars per month from that one product, but really it's probably not the full potential. You know, you can take the same product and then simply scale it like to 10, to 15, to even twenty thousand dollars a month, once again, depending on the product, but you can double, triple, even quadruple your sales if you really have a, a, a kind of a, a scalability uh, strategy. And personally, the way I do it is that I focus on launching and scaling that business for multiple keywords. So um, I had, you know, my last video for this week where we talked about, um, you know, how to find a keyword that has five to 20,000 monthly searches, but then what happens after you have ranked for that keyword, right? Then what you need to do is you want to rank your product for multiple keywords that have between 5,000 and 20,000 monthly searches so that we can actually take your product to the max. Now I did you know, go into detail about exactly how I do that and I'm gonna link it in the top here somewhere uh, where I go about telling you exactly how I tripled 
uh, sales on an existing product by simply ranking for multiple keywords. Now, the third and most important thing is really um, maintaining what you have, optimizing, and then from there, you know, automating, right? And that's where VAs come in play. That's where you need to hire people that will actually monetize your, you know, uh, well, not monetize, but monitor what you got going on, right? Because you gotta understand that this is a business and although it's great to be an entrepreneur and a solopreneur, but in order for you to expand, you need to be focused on building your business, not working inside of your business, right? Have you heard it saying work on your business, not in your business, right? So in the beginning, it's really good and awesome for you to kind of touch and feel every single part of your business and understand every single part, but then you get to the point where what you wanna do is you wanna focus on the scalability, right? And that's where you start hiring people. Like you can hire cheap labor that have the potential, that have the experience. You can find VAs on Fiverr.com for five, ten dollars an hour from the Philippines, Bangladesh, Pakistan. You know where smart people, intelligent people. You know the minimum wage is a lot less than you know like Europe or North America, but very intelligent people. And actually, you know what you do is you simply create a task list. And you give it to them, and then that's where they monitor your PPC campaigns, make sure that um, you know you don't have any bad reviews, make sure that you're always generating good reviews, make sure your email campaigns are going out, and also you know have them where they are in place to finding new new products, maybe even helping you with photography, helping you with you know with optimization, helping you with creating listings, and simply launching multiple products. Because believe me and trust me, you don't get to six figures if you only have one, two, even three products. You definitely need multiple products in order for you to get to the you know multi six figure level. I truly hope the last few minutes have shed some light on your quest and answer your questions. Now, if you're like Bashar, well, this Amazon FBA thing sounds awesome and I really love it and I want to get involved, but it seems like there's a lot of moving parts. Now, I'd rather have someone who knows what they're doing walk me through the steps. Well, if you want that someone to be me, I have made a couple spots available on my team's calendar where we'll jump on a phone call one on one, answer your questions, come up with a game plan, and see how working together can be a benefit to you. So all you gotta do is find the first link in the description below, so, you know, apply and we'll jump on a call and see if you would be a good fit to work with us. But aside from that guys, Bashar sure Katu here. Thank you very much for tuning in. If you found this video valuable, give it a thumbs up. Also consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. And also share with a friend who might find this video valuable. But aside from that, check out the couple of videos that I've got here for you. Um, I'll see you all in the next video. Have yourselves a great day. Take care.